Hello, and welcome to my review of the A&J Pro motorized slider. Uh, first off, I am not a professional reviewer by any means. If you guys follow my other videos, you will know this. And second, this is my first slider, so my, ref my frame of reference is really, really narrow. But I wanted to go tell you guys what I learned and see if this is the right slider for you. Um, run down to the basic features of the slider. I got my, my notes here on the phone so I can read these off to you guys. Um, First, it's lightweight, uh, very, very affordable. Uh, comes in a nice case, which is also nice. Um, plenty of mounting options, at least on the bottom, a center plate, and then a couple on the end, so you can probably mount a few extra doodads on there. Uh, and the parallax function's really, really handy, uh, which is really easy to use. Just two little uh, knobs loosen, move the bar, and go. Um, motor seems to be pretty strong. It will do a, like a, an incline, climb. I didn't do like a 90 degree climb with it, but I did do a decent climb. It seemed to be no problem with the GH5 on there. Uh, there's a bubble level. There's a lock for the slider. Uh, there's a remote uh, with battery powered remote, which is really easy to use. Uh, comes with a Sony um, NPF550 battery, and it will take the 550, 750, and the 950. So pretty common video batteries, easy to get. Uh, also comes with a giant pile of cables if you want to do time lapses. One of the modes in there is a time lapse mode and pretty much every cable you can imagine comes with the unit to plug into your existing camera. That's pretty nice. Um, overall the construction on it's pretty nice. It, it's a little cheap, I mean, but you know, for it's 350 bucks I think somewhere on there. Um, so it's not a really expensive unit and for what you get out from motorized slider I guess I can't complain too much. The parallax function though is, is pretty on the, uh, I don't say chintzy side, but it's got a little bit of play to it. So the actual turning the plate will kind of want to move on its own. Um, also with that, it's really hard to zero it out. There's, uh, there's no indents on the end and you really have to get really, really close and get them, you know, line them up and crank them down on both sides to make sure it actually runs parallel. Um, but once again, for the price point for a motorized slider, I don't think you can complain too much. Um, the other thing I would say is the manual, pretty thin. It's basically a pamphlet. Um, information's there, but you're going to, you're going to be guessing at a few things. Uh, one of the things I ran into was, uh, trying to do a time lapse with my GH5, uh, is that every time it would stop taking a photo, it would record video. Um, now, I don't shoot stills with my GH5, really ever. I didn't buy it for shooting stills. I have a Sony rig, I have a Pentax Media Format rig. Those are my stills cameras. This is based for video. But it had me diving through the manual, uh, the, the settings and the, and the, uh, the menu to see if I messed up somewhere because it seemed to be stuck in video mode no matter what I did. What I realized it was the cable I supplied had to be reversed. It was three pin on one side, four pin on the other side. Uh, that's one of the things, that's, there's no notes in there. Um, about which cable to use and how to how to plug it in, but I realized that they're basically supplying cables for every camera manufacturer, so I guess they can't be expected to give you that instructions, because I probably should look up on you know Panasonic's manual to figure that out. But that being said, the time lapse function seems to work. I don't know how often I'm gonna use this for time lapsing, um, although I do want to try it out uh, later today of put, putting my. Uh, my little Osmo uh, with my phone on that thing and see if I can get some crazy parallax and you know multiple angle moving. Uh, we'll see how that works out and it'll be kind of fun. Um, really the only thing I would say with this is if you're looking for uh, for a slider for starting out, which is what I'm doing, I don't think you can go wrong with this. At the price point for 350 bucks for a motorized slider, it's killer. Um, you will want it yourself a decent uh, tripod head of sorts. I have a, a Manfrotto on there right now that's a pr like really basic model. And I think I need to wait something that's a little bit better and also a good tripod. Uh, I have an older tripod that I got God, probably 10 years ago uh, as a gift for my aunt. Um, and it's nice, but it's not uh, something that's really, really quick. So I'll probably invest in buying a good tripod of this thing. Um, just as I also need a good tripod in general. But... I think it's for, for the tool for getting cool shots, you can't go wrong at that price point. It's like the price of a lens, you know, of a, of a low end lens. Uh, and I think it opens up a lot of creativity, especially the parallax function, just to be able to do swimming pans. Um, I did some shots where I actually had the camera kind of angled up and that looked really, really neat kind of doing arcs. 
So it opens up a lot of creativity and a lot of options, I think, for a budding filmmaker or even probably a professional filmmaker. Um, that being said, if this is a sizable investment for you and you're, or, you want, or you want to make a sizable investment and really for something you're looking for long-term usage, I don't imagine this thing holding up well over time. Um, it, there are just a couple, like the, the looseness factor, if you think, see like something, eventually it's gonna probably break. Um, and, you know, if you have the money, you know, go for Edelchrome or something, you go for something that's high, or Edelchrome, you know, go for like a high-end unit. But for 350 bucks, I mean, come on. Like, I, I looked at one on Craigslist for around that price, uh, and it was a non-automated model, you know, um, so I, I really can't complain for the price I paid. And I, I won't complain, period, because I think it's, for, for it is what it is, it's a fantastic product. Um, you'll probably see a lot more of its usage in future videos for me as I get more familiar with it and more, uh, you know, kind of bring it into storytelling aspects of my filming. So um, really, I guess that's about it. It's a really quick little review for you guys. Um, you can find it on Amazon. Um, I will put a link down below. I don't currently have like a, a uh, little Amazon account set up, so I'm not going to get any money off it if you guys want to buy it, but it's at least a quick link to go check it out. Uh, it is a new company, as far as I can tell. They only have called products, and there's really no reviews out there. So um, if this in any way helps you guys, please hit the like button, subscribe if you want, uh, or just leave me general feedback, as I always appreciate that. And uh, if you have any questions about the saying or anything you guys want to know extra, fire me a message and I'll see if I can answer it for you. Um, on Amazon, I think there's only like seven or eight reviews, period. Uh, and that's all I can really find online. So this is a not a lot of information out there. Not a lot of people have their hands on it. I would be more than happy to provide any information I can or can figure out for you guys if you're looking at buying this slider. All right. Thanks for stopping by.